Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a football player CV, which is absolutely necessary if you want to play as high of a level as possible. So if you enjoy, please leave a like, please consider subscribing, and I hope you enjoy. So as you can see on the screen, uh, I have my player uh, CV here. The numbers and emails are all fake. Uh, of course you want them to be uh, right uh, when you actually send your CV but just for the video I've made some fake ones um, first ideally you would want to have a headshot of yourself that looks very professional you want to make your CV look as professional as possible so uh, uh, my picture is actually not ideal but uh, I'm trying to get a new one but that's what I think looks the most professional and is the best picture I have currently um, you want your name, your phone number and email to uh, be the first things uh, on the CV so they have an uh, easy way to contact you and they won't overlook it. Um, in your bio, uh, you have to have your nationality, which again is very important if you want to try to play abroad. Uh, I have Danish and Iranian, um, so you want your date of, date of birth and not your age because then you have to keep on <laughs> updating your CV all the time. So uh, your date of birth and then your position, your height and weight. And even if you don't think your height, weight or is ideal, you have to tell the truth because when you show up to the trial they'll and you have lied on your CV, they'll just not take you seriously and <laughs> yeah, you prob they won't probably trust you. The next thing you want is your transfer market link. If you don't know what it is, it's a site that has the transfer market or player history of uh, a lot of players. If you don't have one, don't worry, I just recently got mine. It depends on what level you play in your country. I think for the most part, it comes when you play semi-professional or, or higher, uh, then you get your transfer market. So if you don't have one, don't, try, don't worry about it. I just got mine recently and it's not even 100% accurate, but again, it shows professionalism um, also you want a game highlight video if you don't have a highlight video <laughs> uh, I want you to make one first because that's the only way the coaches are gonna see uh, you perform and how good you are so if you don't have a CV no a game a highlight video don't don't even worry about the CV yet uh, make a highlight video that's a must I'm gonna make another video on how to make a highlight video um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Then you want your history uh, of where you have played and you want to make them as recent as possible and as uh, you don't want any like unnecessary information on your CV because you want to keep it down on one page um, because you they don't want to waste a lot of time watching your CV because you, the higher level you get, the more of these they receive. Um, I, I probably should add more than only three uh, years, but I'm, uh, I'm, it's my first year as a senior or not an under 19 anymore. Um, so I have my uh, two under 19 years and my first senior year down on my, uh, high, uh, on my CV. I will link down to other videos. Uh, shout out to Connor and uh, Connor O'Keefe and uh, Become Elite. Uh, I have uh, used their CVs and videos as inspiration. I'll link them down below. As you can see, I've given some information on how many appearances, how many clean sheets I have. If you have statistics on how like your save percentage, pass success rate, stuff like that, you could. I would definitely recommend you put it down there. The level I played at, we didn't have that sadly. Um, you can look all your games through and take that and do the stats yourself. I do recommend you do that. Um, I just haven't done that yet. I write down the name of the club, the year I played in, the league they play in, and the level it is. Um, also, I have, uh, if you have made any uh, accomplishments in the club itself, for example, I became teammate of the year in uh, last year, and definitely, I definitely write that down. Also, if you are a captain or have won like other prizes in the club, 
um, definitely write them down so they have a better idea of what type of player you are and so on. References at the bottom. References are coaches you know will talk uh, positively about you and that the uh, clubs uh, you're trying to get a trial can contact if they want more information about who you are as a player. And yeah, uh, of course you need to ask the coach for permission to use their email and phone number or, or if they can contact them. Um, I've asked my coaches, they all said yes, of course. <laughs> Uh, most coaches will happily help uh, a former player of theirs to uh, get to the next level. Uh, you want to write down their full name, uh, their uh, position uh, in the club, for example called keeper coach. You want to write uh, what club or academy or place they are uh, coaches at and then their mail and phone number. Uh, as I said before, all these phone numbers and emails are fake. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can play around with the uh, layout and try to make it uh, more professional looking or uh, so on. Uh, I'm gonna try to work, I'm gonna try to get some more inspiration uh, from others on the internet and try to make mine more professional as well. But yeah, if this video was of any help to you, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I am planning to do much more uh and many more videos so yeah leave a like subscribe uh and have a great day